It's still dark outside when the juvenile inmates of the Zehaus Leonberg Prison Fellowship start their day. At quarter to six, they jog, stretch and do weight training. They can serve their sentences here on a semi-open basis, as an alternative to prison. Heike Hoffmann, a former top athlete and a volunteer at the center, coaches the youngsters before heading to work. I love to go running with the boys. They're very dear to me. I'm moved by stories of their past, and it's fun to be able to give back to them something of myself. Many of the young people here are experiencing a structured family life for the first time. They learn to respect and be considerate of one another. For Heike Hoffmann, seeing this in action is her reward. The inmates clean up after breakfast and then they pray. It's a program of strict discipline for teens who are doing time for robbery, assault and extortion. Most of them were doing poorly in school. Here they have a year's time to learn a skill in manual trade. In the metal and electronics workshop, 18-year-old Lukas is learning from Esteban Ferber. 72-year-old Ferber is a retired electrotechnician. Now he's passing on his knowledge, not for pay, but for his personal fulfillment. I'm trying to tell the boys that it's worth their while being here. They have an opportunity to get their lives going, make a new start after getting stuck once. The young inmates of prison fellowship have to earn their second chances. They have to learn to take on a task and finish it with a sense of responsibility and perseverance. What I like about it is that it's a productive way to serve my sentence. I can do my first year of training here, and I've started it in construction. So actually, I think it's really great here. The young people learn in groups of up to 15. Ferber sees the progress they make and the disappointments they experience along the way. Institute director Tobias Merkel says volunteers like Ferber are indispensable. We can only break the isolation that a facility like this has more or less automatically by having people come from outside, and not just the staff who work here. The young people should have contact with the world outside and start becoming integrated into the society. 19-year-old Kustrim is in for assault and robbery. He's now learning woodworking skills, but as soon as he gets out, he plans to start an apprenticeship. For that, punctuality, dependability and accuracy are in high demand, qualities the volunteers teach by example. They're not like people who do their work for pay and who you don't know. These people do it for free because they just want to give us as much as possible of themselves. <laughs> Among the after-dinner activities, judo. Coach Roman Bauer works the boys hard, building up both muscles and self-confidence. And he doesn't earn a cent for it. As a sport played by rules of fair competition, judo can show the boys that it's not always a matter of kicking someone's butt. It's a matter of fighting fair. And that's something that I have fun teaching them. Hard work and discipline have earned Kustrim a piano lesson. He works on his sense of rhythm with music teacher Benjamin Spanic. I see myself as a kind of role model, because I don't get pay or any other remuneration for my work here. And that might give the boys who come to my lessons something else to think about. For volunteers at the Prison Fellowship, the gift-giving season continues year-round. They give the gift of a second chance.